Welcome to a new video everyone. I am back with another video where I will be discussing my thoughts on what wooden coasters in North America could potentially receive the Rocky Mountain Construction iBox conversion. I already did one of these videos several months back, which I will put in a card above the video, but I had several comments on that original video about some other potential contenders, as well as some more I had in mind, and I couldn't fit everyone into a single video. Although I think these rides could all make for great conversions, realistically I do not think many of these, if any at all, will receive the treatment at least in the coming few years. I am just discussing a few more potential candidates since more were suggested by you and it's always interesting to think about the prospect of more exciting conversions from the geniuses at Rocky Mountain Construction. Just as with the first video, I also want to preface this by saying I am a huge fan of wooden coasters, and it is unfortunate that the already low number of wooden coasters in the world is continually dropping, but at the same time, new ones are still being built, albeit at a slower rate compared to steel. Also, all of the current wooden coasters that have been RMC'd are rides that were known for being absolutely awful, boring, and unpopular coasters. If wooden coasters can be saved by being refurbished and remaining as wooden tracked coasters, I also see that as a great option. Also note that these coasters are in no particular order. Starting off the list, we have Cheetah at Wild Adventures in Valdesta, Georgia. This most likely won't happen, but it would be a cheaper alternative to a brand new ground up coaster, and Hershen never invests much into this park. This custom coaster's international creation opened in 2001 and has Gerslauer trains. I've heard many complaints about this giving an unbearable ride and the out and back layout would make for a unique RMC. I could see maybe something similar to Untamed at Wallaby Holland, but scaled back. Being a fan of older CCIs though, and seeing how more are beginning to disappear, I would actually just love to see this given a complete refurbishment by GCI, if nothing else. Next is Twister 2 at Elitch Gardens, another park which never gets any kind of real significant investment. I know the future of this park seems very uncertain with a city project which came to light last year, but frankly, I don't know if that will ever happen. In any case, this ride is not looked at as being very good by many, and doesn't seem to even hold a candle to the original Mr. Twister, which this ride is based on, which is really a shame. I think this could make for a cool, twisted, compact RMC and would easily be the star attraction here. Elitch Gardens is sorely lacking that one true standout coaster from their park. The closest thing they have is a Vacoma SLC. Mount Olympus in Wisconsin Dells has two woodies which do look quite good, but they could both make for a good RMC for the small park. These are Zeus and Zyklops, two out of the three CCIs this park is home to, and all three opened in back-to-back -back years in the 1990s. I personally would pick Zeus out of these if I had to pick one to receive the treatment, as it has a simple out-and-back layout, while Cyclops looks like an awesome twister and has that at least once infamous drop with insane ejector air. This is another case of most likely not happening, but Mount Olympus is a small park, and credit where it is due, they do try to invest as much as they can and have a few pretty solid looking coasters in addition to a couple others over the years that have been removed. So I wouldn't necessarily put it past the owners either to invest some money into converting one of their four wooden coasters into a hybrid. Arkansas Twister at Magic Springs is a wooden out and back coaster that opened at the park in 1992 but was relocated from Boardwalk and Baseball in Florida where it opened in 1978 as Florida Hurricane. Magic Springs is a park that actually added quite a few coasters for a small park in the early 2000s, adding a new coaster every two years starting in 2000 and ending after 2006. And they were pretty generous investments for this park. Sadly, they haven't received any new coaster since 2006 though. They could definitely use a modern thrill coaster to get more people to travel out to this park, and I think an RMC conversion of Arkansas Twister could help with that. I don't think this is very likely, because it is a pretty small park with a limited budget, and Arkansas Twister is somewhat of a classic ride, despite many people not seeming to enjoy it that much. I actually do think an RMC Raptor clone would be more likely and perhaps even more well suited for this park, but of course having RMC convert this wooden coaster would be a very good way to help keep costs down while adding an amazing top tier coaster to this park. Maybe instead of converting Arkansas Twister, they could have GCI retrack and reprofile the ride, or even use some of that new GCI hybrid track that was unveiled, and it might even be cheaper than an RMC conversion. RMC could even keep this a wooden coaster by retracking it with their topper track as well as another alternative option. Next up is a coaster that so many people want to see RMC'd, and for good reason, as it has literally massive potential. 
This would be Monster at La Ronde. Now this is probably never going to happen. Ever. First of all, RMC doesn't have any offices in Canada, which prevents them from building in Canada, and they like to build all of their rides themselves. But also, let's be real, this is La Ronde we're talking about. I did want to discuss it as an option though because so many people would like to see this. This monstrous wooden coaster would certainly make for a great candidate with its sprawling, dueling, twisted layout, and so much could be done here. It seems this old ride rarely ever duels anymore based on what I've heard from many enthusiasts, and also seems to not be very well maintained. This is one of the very few large-scale wooden coasters left that could receive the RMC treatment as well. I do hope Monster is around for a very long time to come though, whether that be as a wooden coaster or as a conversion. This is a massive ride, and Laurent really can't afford to keep losing attractions. Lastly, we have Hurler at Carowinds. This is one of the Hurler clones that opened in the 90s under Paramount, and of course, Hurler at King's Dominion was transformed into the amazing Ejector Air Machine, Twisted Timbers for 2018. Many people have been clamoring for an RMC redo of the Carowinds Hurler ever since finding out about Twisted Timbers, whether that would be a clone of Twisted Timbers or just a similar RMC conversion. Either way, I don't think you could go wrong with this. Giving Hurler the treatment would certainly improve Carowinds coaster lineup that much more, giving them much needed depth beyond the top 4 or 5 in the park. I feel inclined to say I feel that this coaster may be the most likely out of all these to be converted, though I have heard from a couple sources that this may not be an option for Carowinds at this time. However, nothing reliable has ever come to fruition regarding this, so RMCing Hurler could still potentially be in the cards, though it surely wouldn't happen for at least another few years. One thing that could go against this is that there had been some new track work done to Hurler when I was there in 2019 in a trim break right after the drop and before the first turn, which I believe may have been added very recently as well. This doesn't really give much credence to this not potentially happening though. I do hope that Carowinds receives a good modern Woody, like something from GCI, and I do think that will happen eventually. They will definitely need a good thrilling wooden coaster if Hurler is converted. When it comes to Hurler itself, to me it was just a mediocre ride. Pretty smooth and comfortable, but it didn't really do much for me, even though it is still the park's best coaster besides the top 4 in my opinion. Thank you all for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are about any of these wooden coasters receiving the RMC Iron Horse conversion in the coming years. I would love to hear your thoughts. Be sure to like my page Coaster Daddy on Facebook and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram, as well as subscribing and liking this video if you enjoyed it. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.